Mark chapter 6. We turn our Bibles to the book of Mark. Mark chapter 6. Let us start reading from verse 45. Mark chapter 6. We start reading from verse 45. And straightway he constrained his disciples to get into the ship and to go to the other side before unto Bethsaida why he sent away the people. And when he had sent them away, he departed into a mountain to pray. And when evening was come, the ship was in the midst of the sea, and he alone on the land. And he saw them toiling in rowing for the wind was contrary unto them. And about the fourth watch of the night, he came unto them, walking upon the sea, and would have passed them by. May the Lord bless the reading of his word until he comes. Of the 
Mark is known Mark to have been more details than all the other gospel writers. In the book of Mark, the Bible scholars agree that one of the motives for his book was to introduce Jesus as the son of man. Though some had anticipated to introduce him as the son of God, but according to Mark, introducing him as the son of God would make him relate more with God than man. But according to Mark, when he brings Jesus to us, not as the son of God, but as a son of man, his primary purpose was for us to see how Christ relates with our, our intentions. His primary purpose was for humanity to find space in the life of Jesus. According to Mark, Mark wants us to relate to Jesus. There is what they call a hypothesis system where there is a system in place as to see as to who amongst the gospel writers wrote before the others. So in the hypothesis system, they then agree that the book of Mark must have been the earliest book of the country. They then agree that it is highly possible that the gospel of Mark was extracted from the book of Mark. They even go further to suggest that even the Saloon himself had things that he retrieved from the info of Mark. But nonetheless, nonetheless, except for the hypothesis system, let us then touch in the book of Mark. When you start in the book of Mark, the book of Mark comprises of 16 chapters. And from the first chapter, he introduces Jesus as a suffering servant. From chapter 1, we see how Jesus' life will end from his perspective. He introduces him as a suffering servant so that whoever would decide to follow Jesus amongst the things he needs to accept in following Jesus. Suffering is part of the church. Yeah. 
that one to you is of sure. Chapter 6 seems to have been a change of tables that which had taken place in Jerusalem. <coughs> that which was exercised by the Lord in chapter 6 is exercised by Jesus. <laughs> Let me leave that one to Then in chapter 6, the Bible says, as he was left on the land, as he was left on the land, this is what he did. Then the Bible says, according to Mark, he was seen climbing the mountain. Not only did he climb the mountain, but according to Mark, he gives us a reason behind, behind the climbing of the mountain. That according to Mark, as he climbed that mountain, he was in a process to get on his knees. That is according to Mark. As he was climbing that mountain, the process was difficult. But it preceded how it will end with <laughs> Let us go together. Those who have followed the word of God from the books of the Old Testament you will realize that according to God whatever Pastor Numeraj seems to be of pivotal in God will always transfer that assignment from a horizontal land and move it up to the mountain. So those the books of the Old Testament, the issue of worship would be then taken away from a horizontal land. If I had time, I would submit 
to you. What I do not know. What kind of a storm to begin? You are dealing with to But good news. Before you leave and bow for the only answer is someone who calls the church. Yes, yes, I'm praying for you. You are not going to understand what I'm saying. Based on the details of the storm. I 
I do not need to know the details of your story. But all I know, the conclusion of the matter is so important. The reason is that you are frightened by what you are faced with. It is not out of the aggressiveness of the forces, but due to your own failure. <laughs> of having faith <laughs> to consider <laughs> what took place you go to the always have Ellen G. White been present here has Ellen G. White been present here I'm sure she would have jumped up to substantiate my thoughts and say to us, we have nothing to see for the future except not because not because but all because as we woman It's not with what you are facing. But from how much you embrace, from what God did for you yesterday. It is in that moment where David, according to Psalm 103, would agree with me. When you consider what God did for you yesterday, The Bible says Christ has led them, has led the crowd to a certain place. And according to Mark, we will hear as to how that place was when the disciples confront Christ. But according to Mark, they spent the whole day listening to the teachings of Jesus. Until such time, brother Kamat, until such time, they stood up as his disciples. They went to Jesus. They went to Jesus. According to Mark, when they got to Jesus, they mentioned two things. Before we submit, before you respond, be considerate of these two factors. One, this is a desert place. Go and listen to Mark. Before we even submit, consider these two. For in their understanding, Jesus' response must be determined. Even did they understand, he They said to him, this is a, a desert place. Not only <laughs> have we identified that disadvantage, <laughs> but two, it is very late. <laughs> so before you respond, <laughs> consider the location. <laughs> before you respond, <laughs> Consider the time. For according to their understanding, <laughs> provisions <laughs> should be determined <laughs> by the convenience of the location. <laughs> according to their understanding, <laughs> provisions <laughs> should be considered <laughs> based <laughs> on time. <laughs> when time is against, <laughs> no provision. Is to be fulfilled when the location does not allow. That is according to them. 
And if I had time, I would ask them, where were they? I know. In the fourth year journey, when the location of the wilderness did not allow, where avenues did not allow, but because God was in the desert place, you by the time I would say to you, you may not be aware you had anticipated great change to be able to record. You hold a degree which calls for you to be someone. But you are not there. As the disciples saw, this is a desert. I want to preach to someone there who is saying, My pastor, I am in a desert. When I look at my woman, and compare how I am served God, I am sure God is shaking. I don't want us to fake it yet. Let us be honest. We are not okay with red contest. I don't want us to fake it yet. You must also go. This particular guy has got degrees. He has got what? And in all honesty, he is not supposed to be well. How he has served God. You know, he is not supposed to be well. But I want to say to him and to us, and to ourselves, Nagim. Give him time. Before I close, I am saying it is okay to have issues with your God. Because in all honesty, you should not be welcome. I want to plead on God's behalf and say that God understands. But please give me a chance. Before I close, I am saying you are not where you are supposed to be. But I am pleading on God's behalf. Give time. How does it happen? For Jewish people by blood. An offspring from the very stalwarts who had worked with God in a desert. How can they when they get to a desert place? Not to be called. All I want to say to you. You may be in a desert place for the first time. But the God who has led you there. Get to where I'm It is actually you who gets here for the first time. But take a look back. Your forefathers. Then they submit. These people have been here for so long. 
who says I can relate here. I have been here for so long. But I do not have time. He then says to them, Go check if there is bread. Within the very people, go back to them. Hey. To summarize my account, they come back with five loaves, two fishes. This is all the budget we have. <laughs> they operated with him from an earthly realm. <laughs> that a delivery is determined by the amount of resources. <laughs> How you deliver must be based. <laughs> so if you show them that you do not have sufficient resources they will then understand why you do not deliver but Christ says my service determines the budget give them to me give them to me I determine the budget I am not Amen. At some point, question is cut. God through the prophet once addressed a widow. Sometimes this is cut. You think I have read out of delivery. Whereas at times I withhold because on your side you do not have enough resources for you to carry. At times, Brother Kelly, we have issues with God and not consider the fact that at times where is it hard? Let me close He then takes the first one. Did you see what he did before we pray? He broke the five loaves. I want to close now. He got five intact loaves. But when he looked at them, for as long as they remain intact, they will not be effective. Sometimes, God decides to break in the Not because he has issues. I already in an hour.
For as long as they remain tender, they will always be less effective. Allow me to submit to you that you are not broken because God has, has got issues with you. But you are broken now. You manage it. Let me substantiate my point. I to do. Programmed to substantiate your point. God in chapter 32 breaks Jacob by dislocating his joint. I want you with me to look at this for a moment. It seemed unfair to Jacob. But go with me through my eyes. Let us look at this thing. Imagine had God not dislocated his joint <laughs> and allowed him to cross over Jabba <laughs> in touch. And the Bible says, as soon as he crossed over, the next person he saw That which throughout the night 
they saw as a challenge that which throughout the night they saw as a problem that which throughout the night they saw as danger that which throughout the night they saw as trouble Mark says as he approached them he came through the very sea they saw as trouble they saw as a problem you are not getting to me I am saying to you embrace Whatever you see as a problem, and spend time looking at it, turning over. I am serving a God who has tendencies to monetize, but which lends to what you see as a problem. Come up front, I will ask the pastors to pray. 